recall Sunday evening, Steve mentioned Google it or things we've talked about coming across the internet. I get a great many emails or opportunities or things um, that come to my email address. Some of them are pretty good, some of them are not so good. Sometimes it takes a long time to sort through them. Um, but I have one that I'd like to share with you today. And I'm not really sure how to categorize it. It's not really a, a poem. It's not really a story. It's just a little bit of a thought. It is, however, entitled Potato Chips. So bear with me as you listen. <clears throat> the little boy wanted to meet God. He knew it was a long trip to where God lived, so he packed his suitcase with a bag of potato chips and a six-pack of root beer and started on his journey. When he had gone about three blocks, he met an old man. The old gentleman was sitting in the park just staring at some pigeons. The boy sat down next to him and opened up his suitcase. He was about to take a drink from his root beer when he noticed that the old man looked hungry. So he offered him some chips. The gentleman accepted gratefully and smiled back at the young boy. His smile was so pretty that the boy wanted to see it again. So he offered him some root beer. Again, he smiled at him. This delighted the young boy. They sat there all afternoon, eating potato chips, drinking root beer, and never said a word. As twilight approached, the boy realized how tired he was, and he got up to leave. But before he had gone more than just a few steps, he turned around, ran back to the old man, and gave him a hug. The old man gave him the biggest smile yet. When the boy opened the door to his house a short time later, his mother was surprised by the look of joy on his face. She asked him, what did you do today that made you so happy? He replied, I had lunch with God. Before his mother could respond, he added, you know what? He's got the most beautiful smile I've ever seen. Meanwhile, the old man, also radiant with joy, returned to his home. His son, his son was stunned by the look of peace on his face and asked, Dad, what did you do today that made you so happy? He replied, I ate potato chips in the park with God. How <clears throat> you know, he's much younger than I expected. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch or a smile or an honest compliment or the smallest act of caring. All of those that have potential to turn a life around. People come into all of our lives for a reason, sometimes for a season, sometimes for a lifetime. We should embrace them all equally extremely important for us to have realistic contact with people that we come in, in touch with. We look them in the eye, smile at them, compliment them honestly, or just look at them with love, then they see God in us. How wonderful is it for us to look in someone's eyes or to look in their smile and see God or Christ smiling back at us. All of us have troubles and struggles, but we never know when you encounter someone that just your smile or just your honest compliment or just your giving them some attention will change their life. We never want to leave without having the opportunity to remember that we have a church family to pray for us. If you have anything that you need the prayers of the church. If there's anything that you're struggling with or if there's anything that you're especially thankful for, this is an opportunity to do that. Also, if you haven't become a Christian, this is an opportunity for you to do that tonight as well. Jesus is in the